today's video I'm going to be showing you a motorhomer's worst nightmare. Rotten wood, damp, bending floors, broken shower, delamination, you name it, it's in this video and boy, it's a bit of a gut wrencher. So if you want to stick around and see this and how it gets fixed, <laughs> then stay tuned. This video is a flashback. It's never been published until now. Um, maybe he's gone through it all now and put it all together. So why has it never been published? Now this work took place. So I went to Oak Tree in Nottingham to have my lithium sorted way back when. And if you've not seen that video, then I definitely recommend you go check it out. So when I went up there to get that done, I said on the way up, because my shower cracked just as I was planning to go up there to get this work done for the lithium. And I said, oh, Rob, any chance you can have a look at it when I'm up there? They were like, yeah, no worries. And I said, my floor is starting to delaminate. Any chance you can look at that as well? No problem. First and foremost, I cannot thank Rob and the team enough for everything they've done for me. Because, boy, <laughs> as you're about to see, it is bad. The reason this video didn't get released uh, along with the lithium video was because the lockdowns and everything, everyone's trying to buy motorhomes, everyone's trying to buy camper vans. Rob and the team were run off silly, which is a nice situation to have, don't get me wrong. It's great to be rushed off and great to be busy. But Rob and the team at Oak Tree, they don't really do outwork. And when I mean, I don't know if that's the right term, but they don't really do like you have a motorhome, you've, you've had it five years, you call them up and say, hey, can you do this job? They don't really do that. And the reason is they offer such a high service and a high level of service to their customers, they don't really have the time, should we say, and the resources, because they spend so much of their, they spend all their energy taking care of their customers, which is rightfully so. This person has just bought a 70, 50, 60, 70 thousand pound motorhome. And for him to give this person the best possible service, he has to say, so, has to say no somewhere. So this was a bit of a regular thing for them to do for me. Um, they only kind of done it because I was there and they're freaking awesome and they weren't going to let me, <laughs> weren't going to let me, uh, run away in dire straits and, um, leave with the mess that was, that it was about to unfold. This is the reason why I will be going with, uh, Oak Tree for my next motorhome because with every motorhome that they sell, they give you a year's MOT. They do all the hab checks, a free engine service and cam belt, a free three year warranty. So I've been watching this footage, what Mevy's put together from the footage that I took and oh my God, just looking at it, it is gut wrenching. It is gut wrenching. So while I'm still here at Oak Tree Motorhomes, I've asked them to look at a few issues. Uh, one of the main issues actually came so quick, my shower has uh, a crack in it so it needs fixing but also my floor has delaminated and there is some movement in the floor back when we weren't in lockdown mark from either van he put some metal bars uh, in my chassis to try and stop the floor flexing but it now needs to uh to, to be done properly they've said it's not as bad as they've seen before it's not the worst so they're gonna, there was two options, basically. They can drill from the bottom upwards uh, and inject the resin, or they can drill from inside down and inject the resin. Inside down is a lot quicker, a lot less labor, a lot less time, but you're left with the, the circular doweling marks on the floor. Basically what they do is they, they drill holes because the foam in the middle has like squashed and uh, you know given way and there's now a void. So they need to drill through, so it's like a sandwich. So the top two here are the wood and then there's like a sandwich in the middle of like the foam. So they drill through the top part of the, uh, of the sandwich. <laughs> love, a, love a food analogy. Um, and then they inject the resin through that hole and then they let all the resin uh, they then tap in uh, like little wooden dowels and then they let that set and then they come along they plane them off sand them down and then it's all smooth again but you've got loads of little circular wooden spots all over the floor which so I don't care about that for two reasons first is if, if and when I do sell my motor home someone's gonna see it and they might think oh no that don't look good you know but it proves it's been done 
Let me come, come yeah, down. Yeah, come down that one. You can have holes everywhere, but you do ring holes. Yeah, that's fine. But they'll be flat, won't they? They will be flat, yeah. 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 I'm yeah, going to put a rug or a new, new mat over. Yeah. I kind of knew the process of doing the floor. I thought it was going to be a real horrible job. A lot of people on the Facebook groups, on the forums, told me that I could do it myself. You know, you've got to drill your holes, you just got to mix up the stuff and then you've got to leave it to, to set and everything. And now, looking back, it, it isn't the hardest job in the world, to be fair. And yeah, you could do it yourself quite easily. So it doesn't expand, does it? It just no. sets rock hard. It just fills yeah. gaps and sets. Yeah. My floor wasn't that terrible, but because I'd never done it before, I was a bit anxious, so... It's always best to, if you if you don't know what you're doing, then it's best to, to ask the professionals. It's quite squidgy there, isn't it? Yeah. As you can see here, there's plenty of holes being done, and they're just checking all the areas to where where it is soft and where the floor has sunk a little bit or delaminated. So this is the floor, all the holes have been drilled, ready to then be filled. These are the soft spots. And as you can see, they don't really look that bad at all. They're not too much of an eyesore at all. This is the kit, you mix part A with part B, make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and then, uh, yeah, start syringing it into the holes. And you will notice that when you pump it into one hole, it does kind of start moving because the floor is all, all one piece underneath. So it can start squirting out of another hole and then you've got to make sure you're on top of the cleanup because it can be messy stuff. I'm only doing this because I don't want to have lumps of it in the morning. Do I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. But I did think that we'd have to saw them off and then sand them, but no, you just clonk them straight down and make sure they're level. So that's pretty easy, really. There's a lot less fussing around than I thought it was going to be. This place, I mean, they're doing all the work on my van at the moment. They've put the lithium in, they're doing other bits and bobs. And, and they, you know, Rob has given me carte blanche to go anywhere on the site, film anything. Um, and not many companies will do that. <laughs> I can walk in anything, film anything, go anywhere, film anyone doing any work. There's no problem whatsoever. Day two, back here to see how the floor's uh, set because it was injected last night um, with all the resin and then the wooden dowels. So we'll go see how that's turned out and then uh, we'll see how far we get with the, uh, and how any more surprises that get thrown up with the uh, with the shower tray. The new floor. That's brilliant. <laughs> and and to be uh, to be fair, I mean I know you can see the spots now because they've gone a bit darker. With a rug, you know, or some nice carpet. You're not gonna notice. <laughs> Is that where it's soft? Oh no, moment of truth. You want to see it? Huh? You want to see it now? Yeah. Oh no. So that's all the wood. That's the ply. That's the ply that's the problem. Oh shit. So that's been done before. That's no original glue. Right, okay. This is the part that scared, I mean, honest to God, scared the living crap out of me. It's compost. That wood is basically mulch and compost. I, feel, I cringe a bit right now looking at it because I was so petrified when that happened. I think I actually called a few people, I called a few mates. Um, I think I called Gadget John and um, a few others and I was like, seriously, this is so bad. It is unreal.
<laughs> the ceiling. Oh. He's a lot brand new when Paul's finished here. <laughs> um, I can't. I can't wait. Like brand new when you're doing it. Right now, my arse is like a cigar cutter. <laughs> now, this is the polystyrene coming out. Now, we would later clean these up because polystyrene doesn't really go bad. And it was all cut to shape and it was all, all the original stuff that fit. Now here is the culprit. Oh, this is the pipe that comes from the main water tank the water and then goes up to the toilet and then continues the on that. to yeah. the sink and the shower head. And the reason it wasn't detected for so long was because it's wedged between two sets of floor. New wood. New wood, yeah. <laughs> New timber. You you doing? Long story short. It's not the greatest of stories. Um, on the toilet, done my business, stand up, felt my foot um, like move unnaturally. I looked down and then there's a crack. The floor did feel a little bit soft where the shower tray did crack. So I haven't used it at all, not used it once. No water's gone through that at all. <sighs> my God, that floor is so, so bad around the shower area. And it turns out the actual problem of it all was a push push fit connector. This exact connector, this bastard little thing, is what has been leaking for what they guess probably years. Because that that the rotten timber like that like it's like it is wouldn't um wouldn't be like that for just a couple of weeks or a month or something. Maybe I should have been looking under my motorhome a little bit more. That, I, was, I suppose I'm definitely going to be doing that now. And if I ever buy a new motorhome or another motorhome, I will definitely be looking under the floor and poking and prodding and maybe even damp testing uh, under the floor myself. Ah, uh, watching them, watching them rip that out. Uh, it's gut wrenching to say, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I mean, most, I think all the deadwood's out now and now he's got new timber and he's starting to shape it up and start putting it all back together and um, rebuilding it. But, oh man. They've taken all of it off so they can actually get to the shower tray from the bottom. So they've glued the shower tray inside and uh, in both directions. They're gonna then fiberglass the shower tray uh, from the underneath and then they're going to put more timber support underneath the shower tray and then in between the gaps of the timber they're then going to put foam so the, t so the shower tray does not move an inch, does not move a muscle. Here's all the dead stuff, dead wood there, pile of it over there. New timber going in and then they're going to rebuild everything up and put more foam in and god knows what. They stripped everything out and then started from scratch. Started to rebuild the entire frame where all the rotten timber was, building it all back up and then putting the old polystyrene back because there was nothing wrong with the old polystyrene. It just it looked a bit grim, um, but it was going back straight under. It had all been cleaned and wiped down. Um, the, the relief having a new a new floor under the shower and knowing that I can actually use the shower and that the floor's done. That's it all finished, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. All cleaned down, ready for the bumper to go back on. All put back up, chained up. Nice and new floor. So this is the bumper that's going to go back on there. One thing I didn't know is these are metal and they weigh a ton. But yeah, it's all been cleaned up, ready to have like a, a silicon glue put on it and then put back on there and then screwed back into the new wood.
think you're in the hole, bud. Right up to the top. Marvellous. Looks better, doesn't it? But now came the point of looking around the toilet because of the time that had passed, it had been so long, my heart started sinking again because they've got more rotten wood, stuff that needed cutting out really isn't good. Yeah. It doesn't phase these guys at all. They just crack on with it. You know, cut the bad out and put the good back in. There's me. <laughs> There's me standing there pulling my pants going, oh, 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 this is it, this is it, this is game over, this is game over. And they're like, no, no, we'll sort it, no worries. That's the toilet out. Yeah. I'll have to uh... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I can't thank Oak Tree enough and Rob and the team enough for what they've done. They went above and beyond. They are such a professional bunch. If you're looking to buy a mobile home and you think, right, yeah, I want to buy a mobile home or a camper van, but I do want a few mods, I want a battery kit, I want solar, I want a TV here, I want this and that, you are in perfectly safe hands with Oak Tree. I mean, I'm not paid to say any of this, and Rob will probably blush at this because, you know, he's he is a very humble guy and he's such a, a generous and giving guy, but when you find a company, especially when I've previously been done over by a company and not had the greatest work done by previous companies, who I've given big sums of money to, you really do want to, you know, sing the praises of the companies that are worthwhile and you can trust and you can recommend to anyone and know that they're going to be in safe hands. And that's exactly what I'm doing with Oak Tree. I wouldn't, wouldn't bat an eyelid at recommending any one of you or my nan or my mum to Oak Tree because I know you're in safe hands. Oh, I'm so glad that's, that, 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 that floor's done. I am so glad that floor's done. And I never, ever, ever want to see rotten wood like that again in any of the remote homes. But I can't wait to buy my next remote home with Oak Tree and then start decking it out, get the nice big, uh, nice big electrical kit and then get on the road. It's going to be freaking great. But yeah, if you need anything, if you, if you're looking at getting a camper van or a motor home, make sure you uh, go on their website, go on Oak Tree's website, or head on down there. There'll always be a cup of tea waiting for you and a biscuit. Have a look around the motor homes and uh, yeah, why not? Give them a try. I'd love to hear your thoughts on my, on my compost floor and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.